Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Here on a Tuesday to talk about what we always talk about on Tuesday, Raw. Can't wait to get these numbers. I mean, honestly, like I said in the opening segment, third hour, I actually had a lot of fun during the third hour. But, I mean, the finish of the Asuka... Sasha Banks match was was so incredibly stupid. So they had a really good match. I mean, the match, the actual wrestling in the match, it was great. If you don't recall, at the extreme, at what they, I guess, on the WWE.com page, they call it the horror show at WWE Extreme Rules. We've added ah. another another word in there. Sound effect too. Got to remember the sound effect. So that match, they did the Oscar Sasha match and their wrestling and. Asuka accidentally missed the referee. He goes down. Bailey hits Asuka with the belt. Bailey gets in the ring. She puts on the referee's shirt. She counts the pin, and she awards the title to Sasha Banks. And, of course, it's ridiculous. But they leave with the belt, okay? So Asuka's clearly been screwed. I mean, she's the rightful champion. At worst, she was DQ'd for missing the referee. So they go to Raw the next night, and Stephanie McMahon, the authority, okay? Stephanie McMahon says, Well, Sasha, you're not the champion. But Asuka, you didn't win the match. Now, of course, she didn't win the match, but she should still be the champion. So I don't know why why Stephanie didn't say, Sasha, give the belt back to Asuka till we handle this. Stephanie just lets Sasha keep the belt. She says, next week, we're going to do a match, and the belt can change hands via countout, disqualification, pinfall, or submission. And, of course, the story that they try to tell you is, well, if Bailey interferes, then Sasha loses and Asuka remains the champion. But the stipulation is stupid because Asuka is the champion. So in any match, if Bailey interferes to lead to the finish, well, Asuka's going to be the champion. So really, Stephanie comes out and she stacks the odds in the favor of Bailey and Sasha. Even though in storyline, they're pretending like it's the other way around, but it's not. So we do the match... And everything is going along great. And all of a sudden, somebody puts on the big screen footage of Bailey stomping on Kyrie backstage. Now, of course, if you've watched a lot of, of beatings in WWE that put someone on the shelf, you know, sometimes they'll drop the bay door on somebody or, you know, they'll drop a car on them or whatever Braun Strowman has had happen to him and vice versa over the years. Bailey's kicking her, just stomping on her. And Asuka's in the ring, about to win the match. He's about to put on the Asuka lock. And she looks on the big screen, and there's her friend getting kicked. Bailey's got a big decision to make. Oh, man, do I run back there and save my friend who's being kicked? Or... Do I win the damn match right here and put this Asuka lock on? Because it's halfway on already. Well, she looks back and forth and back and forth. And yeah, it's a good story that that she had to make a choice. But like, you've got a small sliver of a good story in an overall horrific story. So she decides, well, my friend's getting stepped on. I better run back there. She runs backstage. She gets counted out. And as a result, as a result, the championship is given to Sasha Banks. Sasha is now the Raw Women's Champion via countout. Keep in mind, the last person that held the Raw Women's title was Asuka, and it was handed to her because Becky retired. So now Sasha's the champion. Asuka runs backstage to help her friend who's being stepped on. She gets back there. Bailey's gone. She doesn't even help her friend. Her friend was screwed one way or the other. And then we later don't know what happened, but Asuka comes out of the trainer's room, tears streaming down her face and green goo, and she screams something in Japanese. And that, my friends, is the end of the WWE career of Kairi Sane. So really, if you think that this got heat on Sasha 
or on Bailey. I mean, you know who this got heat on? The company, Stephanie McMahon, the one who made these stupid rules. If Asuka would have run backstage in a normal match, she'd be the champion right now. But it's because of Stephanie's goofy rules that now she's no longer the champion and Sasha's the champion. And for some reason, we're supposed to be mad at Sasha. So anyway, it was preposterous. You know, the, the number one contenders just got beaten by the champions like a week or two ago. And then, you know, what else do we have on this show? The Randy Jeez, Orton, Randy Orton promo announcing he's going to be facing Drew before they actually do the Drew Dolph match in the main event. I mean, the booking of this match is just an absolute as stupid as ever. Probably actually dumber than it's been in a long, long time. But that's Raw, everybody. Good wrestling, talented wrestlers, completely incompetent booking. Yeah, the the problem has never been with the talent. Oh, and Ali, and, uh, for God's sake. Well, Dude, yeah, he, we all thought he'd one. get three weeks. He got a week. And he didn't even get a week because this was taped the same night that he won that match over MVP. So he won a match over the guy that claims to be the Intercontinental Champion or the U.S. Champion or whatever. He immediately goes on to be killed by Bobby Lashley. Kyrie Sane beat Bailey. She immediately goes on to have her career ended by Bailey. So a lot of good that did. I mean, up and down this show. Even Russo would look at this show and laugh. Yeah, like two and a half more minutes. Do you want to keep going? Nah, here, go for it. To, uh, <laughs> a, I mean, because you can take any segment on this show and, and blow a hole in it in some sort of way. You know, it took them. All of this stuff was taped the same way last week's stuff was taped, yet they took to the middle of the week to realize hey, we're going to have Randy Orton challenge Drew in a very forceful manner. Maybe we ought to make it a non-title match. So they had to go and scramble to do that to make sure they didn't take anything away from Randy Orton's challenge to Drew McIntyre, which was perplexing right there. You have Orton bringing up Drew's past, which at least he mentioned NXT this time. But here's another example of you're bringing up not only the past as far as, hey, I was in Legacy. Yeah, you know who else was in Legacy? Cody Rhodes. Nobody remembers Legacy, so somebody had to go look that up and go, oh, Cody in AEW. He's probably doing better there than he would be in WWE right now. You had the deal with – one of the things with Asuka and Kyrie is the beating – that Kyrie was getting did not warrant her calling out like of a small not. a small child for Oscar. Remember that 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 scream Oscar as if she was getting killed because her back knocked up against the uh the wall. I mean, the only thing the Bailey and Sasha thing has going for it is the fact that Bailey ended up with the belt. So anybody that really likes uh, Sasha and Bailey will try to have instant amnesia over this whole storyline, but Sasha doesn't look better in this exchange. Now she won a match. You know, she asked backwards her way into the match, and then she wins the title on a count out in such a lame fashion. I mean, I know they, they're doing it for heat, but that was awful. Mustafa Ali, have him beat MVP again. What is, why have him get his ass kicked by Bobby Lashley? And Bobby Lashley kicking somebody's ass? All four. You could have had him. Be there just beating someone, reminding people he could that he's awesome. Shelton. There's he can, three guys in exactly. this crew. You, there's a zillion things you could have done there besides beat Ali. That God just forbid didn't need we, to be done. we protect Shelton Benjamin at the expense of Ali. And he's probably going to beat Shelton at some point, but you can't keep going 50 50 with everyone all the time, especially somebody you're going to try to make a project out of, maybe possibly for about the millionth time here in the last year. And there's plenty more, but we're getting close to break. So I'll hold that thought. This person says, am I the only one who thinks there will be no satisfying follow-up to this Asuka-Sasha match? I've seen people defending it, claiming Asuka will get her revenge. I'm sure she'll get some sort of revenge. Maybe she'll win the belt. You know, maybe she'll blow Mist and cost Bailey the the belt against against Nikki Cross. But so what? Her friend got retired. Wow, she wins a belt back. And she lost on a count-out. Back in a moment, Observer Live.